Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up your Fiery controller on your Konica Minolta uh, BizHub copier. I'm going to be using a Konica Minolta BizHub C754E, but this process should pretty much be the same on um, all the other models you have. The Fiery may look different, but it all boils down to the same. So first off, if you have your Fiery connected properly uh, and uh, you're now going to be feeding your network cable from the fiery LAN port that you see there. You're not going to plug it into the copier port. You're going to do it on the LAN, which is the fiery. My fiery is connected to the back just like this. Yours might be hanging in the back or what so. So now, if you have it connected properly and it is working properly, you should be should be able to see a controller when you select menu utility you should see a controller option button just right there you hit that now don't uh, be alarmed if it reboots it had the tendency of doing that every time you run setup but first off you're gonna select menu there's a there's a little delay on sometimes there's a delay so don't don't be alarmed on that so you're gonna scroll down to where uh, when you see run setup that's what you're going to do. Run setup there. You're going to select that. And it's going to ask you if you want to continue. You're going to hit OK. You're going to go to the right here and hit OK. And now you're going to scroll, see where it says disconnect. So now you got to let it reboot. So let's wait for it to reboot. It does that whenever you run setup for the first time. So I'm going to wait until it reboots. Okay, so you could see here controller came back. So we're going to select that. And now it's going to ask you for the Fiery Password. The default Fiery Password is Fiery.1 with a capital F. So you're going to hit Shift, capital F, and then hit Shift again for lower case. You're going to type in Fiery, I-E-R-Y dot one, and hit Enter. And then I'll put you in. And now you're going to go into the network setup. So you're going to select this button. You're going to go to proto or port setup. Or actually, I'm sorry, you're going to go protocol setup. You're going to go to IPv4 setting. You're going to go to Ethernet setup. And you have the option if you want to do auto IP connection. Uh, I'm going to do no. I usually like to do the statics. I'm going to hit OK. So now here, as you can see on the top, it says IPv4 Ethernet setting. I have mine set up, but you know it, I'm not going to change it. Well, I'm just I'll change a little so you can see. So I'm just going to I'll set it up here for you guys so you can see it. So I'm going to type in my IP address that I want to assign. So you have to hit zero to get to the fourth box. And that's the IP address I'm assigning mine. So I'm going to hit enter. The next is it's going to ask you for the sub mask. Uh, if that's correct, you're just going to hit enter. And now it's going to tell you successfully. And you're going to hit OK. Now it's going to take you to the gateway. Now you select your gateway. Again, if it's uh, not correct, hit delete all the way until you delete all the numbers and hit the numbers right there on the keypad and hit enter. Now, uh, this is if you want to, if you're going to use your machine to scan uh, to your computer, so you now want it to obtain an IP address for the engine, meaning the copier. So you will need to put a crossover network cable from the second port that you see there. And you can see I have one already. And that's if you want to communicate uh, with the IP, if you want to communicate with the server of the copier and that's usually done if you want to set up scan uh, from the copier so usually the IP address you assign your fiery it will be one the copier will be one up from that or one down doesn't matter so anyhow so I'm just gonna put OK and now you're pretty much done so I'm gonna go ahead and exit IPv4 setup exit protocol setup exit exit network setup save changes of course i'm going to hit okay and exit setup again and now it's going to reboot the system you could actually close from here if you like and now as you see the controller went away 
and uh, it'll take about a minute or so to come back on depending on the speed of your fire controller okay so as you can see my controller came back on it actually took a couple minutes I paused the video um, so okay so now I'm gonna go to my uh, computer I'm gonna open up uh, Chrome you can use whatever browser you want and I'm gonna type in the IP address of the copier that I just assigned which is 192.168.0.48 and hit enter and now you're on the uh, Fire E controller web interface and there you have it guys so now you want to set up your print driver so you have to go on konikaminolta.us or konikaminolta's website and when you select the drivers you're not going to select uh, the copier model driver you're going to select the fiery controller for that specific machine and download the drivers for that fiery controller okay and you will find it on konika minolta's website so hopefully this video helped you guys good luck and enjoy your new fiery setup.